You are on. Mm -hmm. So this evening, what we're going to talk about is what seems to really flourish in our culture. And boy, does it get my ire up to know how much we perpetuate fear, how fear has become so real to people in our culture. But let me tell you, true fear is a survival signal that sounds only in the presence of danger. Yet the assessment that I hold is that our culture is stuck in the creation of dualities. The ego creates dualities such as courage or fear, pretty or ugly, peace or disaster, bad or good. In other words, our culture perpetuates, you can't have courage without fear. Not true. If you go to work and you learn your biggest client has gone to your competitor, do you embrace the fear of uncertainty and let the ego take over in the form of projections such as, oh my God, now I'm going to go under, I'm, I'm going to be fired, I'm going to go whatever? Or are you going to see that this is a propitious moment and observe your mental chatter so you can monitor the fearful feelings created by this false self? The false self, the ego that wants to make sure one thing happens to you you suffer in that fear. You see, fear blocks and paralyzes the heart. Therefore, fear blocks courage. So the question for the listener this week is just one. What percentage of your life is filled with regret? Blame is this week's, week's obstacle and the courage action to overcome blame is work without regrets. So exemplifying personal courage, a working woman refuses the easy path of blaming others and steps up to work without regrets. Keep in mind this week's productivity quote by an unknown author. And it says, fear, the worst of all enemies, can be effectively cured by forced repetitions of acts of courage. Wonderful. I love it. Thank you so much for those inspiring words. Thank you, Joy. Always great to be on.